Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Psalms 89 verse 10 as well as Ruth 4 verse 12. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for shining the light on darkness, Lord God, and revealing it to us and helping us to escape in Jesus' name. We love you. We praise you. We thank you that you've defeated the enemy. Amen. All right, you guys, let's get started. Psalms 89 verse 10. You crushed Rahab like a carcass. You shattered your enemies with your mighty arm. All right, so this Rahab, just before we start, is not Rahab as in um, Rahab of Jericho. This is a, a different Rahab. This is a Rahab speaking of the spirit of Leviathan. So it's a, a monster or a demon. And so it says you crushed Rahab like a carcass. You, you scattered your enemies with your mighty army. So God has a mighty army. He he has great power, right? Because this Leviathan spirit, this Rahab is considered one of the more strong spirits. Um, it's a spirit of chaos, division, dissension, um, twisted situations, trickery, darkness, lies, delay. Um, and Leviathan is just one of those things, spirits that you got to bind up, right? You got to, you got to allow the Lord to crush its head. Um, and it says you crushed Rahab like a carcass, meaning it was like almost as if it was already dead, right? It, it has no power against our God. Our God is mighty to save. He is a mighty King and he can cause the, even the most powerful, powerful demons of darkness to just be nothing right when he comes at armageddon he says there he's gonna wipe away the enemy with his breath thank you jesus it says you scattered your enemies with your mighty arm god has a mighty arm you need to let his mighty arm be activated in your life amen all right this is completed today with ruth chapter 4 verse 12 and may your house be like the house of Perez, whom Tamar bore to Judah, because of the offspring that the Lord will give you by this young woman. And so um, we've had this scripture before, and I think it just goes so well with that one, because um, the issues that Tamar seemed to have been dealing with were a spirit of Leviathan, right? Something that was causing chaos in her life, causing um, her situation to be twisted, um, trickery. She had to, she had to do things under the cover of darkness. She, she, dealt in trickery she she tricked her father-in-law into um having relations with her right and then she had to keep his his signet and 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 then go through all these different means after she was found out to be pregnant and and you know there was trickery there was darkness um, this was a twisted situation there was some lying going on with her wearing the veil and playing the harlot, you know, and, and delay of her future coming forth because of the fact that, um, her father-in-law hadn't come through with what he said he would do in helping her to, um, continue on her lineage. Right. So these are issues of Leviathan. These are issues of a spirit of darkness, right. Um, and, and evil things going on when a person's justice is not being given to a person. Um, they're just do has not come to them she was being robbed of her future Tamar was and she dealt in darkness she dealt in some ugly things to get things to go the way that she wanted to but it wasn't because she had done it that she got her way but it was because God allowed the enemy to be crushed in this situation right God can use the foolish things to confound the wise, right? He, you would never think that he would use a situation like this, um, but he did, right? Just in the same way that he used Rahab, right? The the real Rahab um, to, to be able to um, 
allowed Jesus to come through that lineage. And, and Jesus came through Tamar's lineage. And Jesus came through Ruth's lineage, right? A twisted situation, a situation where you wouldn't think God will be able to move. But God can even move even in the midst of the darkness, right? His spirit was over the water in the darkness. So God can move in that. He can make things happen in the dark. Hallelujah. So in the dark of your life, where the enemy is trying to be busy, where the, the enemy is trying to twist and cause trickery and cause delay and, and cause lies to come forth, you need to stand fast on the word that God is going to crush Rahab like a carcass right the armies and the 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 of the Lord are on your side right it says you scattered your enemies with your mighty arm right he has a mighty arm that is going to cause the enemy to be just completely defeated and, and we have to put our trust in him that he's fighting our battles for us. Even if we don't see the end of it right now, even if the time is, is delaying and it's like, I'm doing what you said to do, Lord, you have to put your hope and your trust in him. Rest, rest in him and know that he's got this thing. Even until the end, endure because God has got this thing. Once you've suffered a little while, he's got this thing. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for grace and mercy. We love you. We praise you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. And I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father. Forgive me of all my sins. They are many, Lord. Sit on the throne of my heart and lead me. Guide me into all truth. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, you guys, if you pray that prayer and believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption and no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. All right, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.